All right, guys, I'm just going to train this dog real quick. I'm not going to put the collar on him. I just got you. The dog learned these behaviors with the help of the collar. These people say, oh, you can't train with any collar. No, that's them. That's them. And that's all you're doing with the collar is, I suppose, teaching them. And if you said, well, their natural nature is to be one step ahead. Okay, well, let's run with that then. <laughs> You know, he, this dog is, I haven't trained him. If you said, I can go find all kinds of videos where you trained him. No. If I would have trained him, it would have been on video. And the last time I trained him was probably way before the hurricane. So, but the behaviors are very permanent because they're trained on a physiological level and an intellectual level and in drive. So, he's defaulting to the down. Yeah, Mandy, this could have been Parker if we would have just... <laughs> Don't remind me, lady. It's true, though, and that's why people want to talk a lot about corrections. and what... I'll tell you, I got dogs around here. Got Talbot, he gets out. I've got that one big bin that has the dog food in it, not his food. He gets all this special food and everything. Oh, yeah, it's... Oh, uh, $40 for 20 pound bag food. That's his food. But no, he wants to get into the other food. He wants to flip this lid open. I tell him every day not to do it. He still does it. He still does it. I've tried correcting him. I've tried running over there. I've tried doing everything. Even, even when I put something on top of it where he can't open it, he still tries to do it. So, yeah, I can only conclude corrections don't work. You're just going to keep trying it. it. Just run over there faster. And <laughs> that's what he does. He tries to do it faster than I can do it. Faster than I can try to stop him. <laughs> that's what he does. That's just my observation. So, you know, if the dog is reading body English, and that's what you have to think of with Parker too, Mandy. We're not going to be talking to this dog. We're dumbing the dog down. They already think they're superior to us. I think I was superior too if I could take off running and look back and something was still back there struggling to try to catch me. <laughs> if it was a turtle. If you said turtles are athletically superior to you. No. No one believes that, and dogs don't believe humans are athletically superior to them. So we have to say, we're going to do it on, on these other levels. It's easy to get them. It's what well, we have to say to ourselves, what's easy with dogs? Oh, I'll tell you what's easy. What's easy is getting them to act on an impulse. If you said, what are you basing on? Hey, all, one, all one of them, all shoe bottom has to do is run, and every one of them's going to run with her. If you said, well, she doesn't do that. And she is not as impulse triggering available as other dogs. One, because she's deaf, and two, she's just, oh, she's awful. She's awful. I know, but I, you can, we can fix it. I mean, it's just, I, you've got to just, we're not going to be, if you said, what is the biggest mistake? People just saying the name all the time to the point it doesn't mean anything anymore. So you have to try around the house or use, and I'm going to tell you why I don't like the word easy either, as opposed to gentle, gentle. We're, we're sort of, once we say easy, we're saying easy, easy, watch yourself, easy. You know, it's it just a completely different than, e -e 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 -e. you know, baby, baby, you know. If I go like this, gentle, gentle. <laughs> I don't, but that, that would be what you would do, but... I, I, I don't like the, I don't like, I just, I thought about it and I don't like that word for that reason. You're kind of trying to say, watch out, don't, you know, whereas gentle, we're just asking for a specific behavior. If you said, is that, uh, if you said, well, the easy was working, not based on what I've seen, <laughs> not based on my hand. Tell it to the hand, oh, here, here's, here's what it is, Mandy. Tell it to the hand, lady. <laughs> So this dog is looking for me to trigger an impulse. His name was Chester. I changed it to Kanga. Yay! If you said I don't like it, you don't like it's enthusiasm. I, I have my hands very, and you say, and if, you know, I, I think where people get confused too is sport people, they have to, these dogs have to be trained just on verbal, because if you said, what is the most trained dogs? The hardest thing is to have a dog trained just on verbal, because that's, you know, if, 
That's why their body language is very non-demonstrative. That's why they accidentally send them with the wrong arm. All these things. Uh, but we don't have a judge standing there writing down. It's just our neighbors standing there with judging sheets writing down what we do with our dogs. So if I'm not using my hands the right way, I'm not driving the dog properly. Yeah, no, this is, I can show you this dog is a puppy. And if you said, how did you get this? By augmenting what I was doing with haptics. I think he's got to sit. You know, but I'm mocking it up too. I'm doing the, and there has to be a very, because dogs have that too. There has to be a very, you've got to be able to kind of have a stop point in your body language. So this arm. I'm steering him with both arms. And now I can send him. There's a big, you know, he's, if he's watching my arms, then he's got the default down too. He's watching everything I'm doing. He made a judgment call. And they've got to be able to say what's... You know, if you said you could get around the block, you can't get up, you can't do faster than them. What he's willing to do is give me everything he's got. He's willing to give me everything he's got. And if you said, I see this kind of guy everywhere. Where? I don't. It's hard to be concise. And that's what we said. The directions that I was able to give this dog were very concise. If you said, how much Nick is the dog? None. It's never had one Nick in its life. Maybe one when it chased. Either that was him or the brother. Ran into the bushes one time and they started fence fighting with Luann's dogs. With shoe bottom did it. And so he, whatever, the other ones that were there, ran along and started doing, yay, started doing it too. And I think I can probably go back. I might actually go back on my other channel. I don't, I don't know why I get discouraged. All right, hang on, you guys. Let me tighten this thing up. Um, I can show you the very first time it jumped, and I said, yay, and it said to itself, I'm going to run with that. And if you said why, because I had already developed that mindset, and the for the dog to say, oh, you like that? Let me show you this. You like that? Let me show you this. I'm almost got. And he's got a shape to deliver, and I have not trained him. I can go back and look, but I can show you when it was a puppy. I was healing along. He jumped up in the air. I said, yay, and it was all history from there. If I would have said no and cranked the dog and said, don't you jump, he wouldn't be like this. You know, it is about the shot that we ought to be thankful that we live in the Western world, Jamie. This is how we need to look at life because this is how I look at it every day and even have the ability to be able to offer joy to dogs. These people don't have them. They eat these dogs while they're hungry. And I mean, the other ones, they just kick them around and run over them. They're just feral dogs. If you said, where, where am I talking about? Russia, Romania, India. Do I need to go on, Jamie? Do I need to go on? I don't even want to think what goes on in, you know, the hurricane came and washed all the ones in uh, Puerto Rico away. <laughs> they weren't smart enough to go inland. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, it's sad, but... dropping. He 
He's not worthy. He's not me. So I just made him do a whole little sequence, but you know, this dog was started. I can go back and find the videos very, very young and learned all these behaviors instead of other jumping, biting, you know, if you said, well, if you played tug with a puppy, he'd be a good match for you. Know, yeah, it's time for that. Do you want to get out here and start tugging around on a Sunday morning? You know, doing feats of strength. That's what it is. Did you ever, Jamie, if you haven't watched all nine episodes of Seinfeld, that's going to be part of your journey, too. I'm going to need you to write this stuff down. You need to watch the whole episode of Seinfeld. That will be able to reference various life dilemmas that you have by various episodes of Seinfeld. And we'll be able to use the script to solve your problem. The second thing I'm going to need you to do is watch every Woody Allen movie that ever existed, except for maybe Interiors. Start with Annie Hall. <laughs> but that's all, all of this behavior is just shaped in this dog. And if you said you mean with a minimal amount of work, any dog can have this result. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, this dog is not some... Hi, Kristen. It's life lessons with Kelly. It's not dog training anymore. We're learning life lessons. They're really corrections don't work. I think about the things, what corrections I get. You know, like getting a ticket and stuff. Oh, I just think it's unfair and I don't deserve it. So I don't learn anything. It's not fair. I don't deserve this ticket. <laughs> so I don't learn anything. Not, I did wrong. I'll never do that again. I don't deserve it. <laughs> and that's the way dogs are too. I don't deserve this. And I'll show this state trooper. I'll go the other way. No, I'll go out of their jurisdiction. There's nothing they can do to me then. <laughs> I can show you, Jamie, the exact moment yay! that that dog did that behavior and I said yay and it did it again and again and again and again. And it's going to do it again and again. Yay! If you said, I don't see any of your dogs having a car. They all do the exact same thing. This is Air Kanga, Air Parker, Air Scarlet, Air every other dog. I don't know how people, you know. It, it is, it's exciting work for the dog, and that's what you have to think of. People say, well, it's fun to watch. It's fun for the dog, too. If you're watching boring videos where they're saying, making the dog stay, and it's sitting there with the leash, and things are going by while this thing is looking for every way out, that's not fun to watch. I can just tell people. No, oh, no, Jamie, no, they don't work on men at all. And if you said, what am I basing that on? The penal system in every single country in the world, that's what I'm basing it on. The penal system in every country. Oh, he did have a side step. And I think this is a good one to do on the platform, too. He would. This is the result that you can get from using an electronic collar and people are trying to say to me that I don't say anything here. They're lying. They're lying. <laughs> you can see I'm getting back to the old frustrated Kelly and I don't want to do that. It is hard to understand when you can take intelligent, educated people, explain to them and then they understand. And then all these other people that supposedly love dogs so much, that's their profession. They can't see any validity in any of this they see validity validity in head pats and prong collars and 40 foot ropes <laughs> okay no there's no hurricane coming so i'm not going to get frustrated but i i'm you know i don't know how much proof you have to have to people and if you said what what i think the school of thought needs to be called uh the one step ahead because if you said get to that platform before that dog it is impossible at all <laughs> you said what are you basing that on 26 years of trying to get out the gate the door now well, you've been there mandy go anywhere i was planning on going with my dog without this dog being uh, way ahead of me so i just have to and if you said well how can you make that into a hand signal this is how I can make it into a hand signal. I give the dog a precursor before I do it. 
So he thinks he's, I have an impulse. Tell you didn't hear anything twice. He just saw that flashing signal. Watch. Anyway, that is a dog that was trained only, only ever from the very first day I got it out for training it wore a vibrating collar. And for these people, you don't even know the bullying I've been through, Jamie, and I'm glad. I'm, I want to be strong for all these young dog trainers that, you know, are faced even now. Chelsea saying, well, you know, these people say, talk about me in the e-call. Who cares? 26 years ago. Can you imagine what I was up against? Telling, first off, telling people this thing cost 500 something bucks. It's like 550 bucks. And it was huge. And, you know, that's how I trained. But they did it. That guy, Randy. Randy still has one of the old original dog trusts. You know, he came back then. And Randy's an intellectual. He's very, very smart. Anyway, you guys, I will be right back. But I'm just going to run through some of the... Oh, I know. I mean, and he and he's at the ready. He's standing right by me. He's not wandering off. I'm not Glasgow dog trainer, my arch enemy. Oh, he saw a video with the pager. Oh, I wonder where you saw that. And he has a dog. This this is the his video, Jamie. I know this doesn't look like much. This is the video. That's the title. Like Mike said, spoiler alert. <laughs> so it's just a dog sitting there doing nothing. Oh, but it took him five months to get to that point. And he's talking about my work. Impressive, buddy. <laughs> Let me see yours fly like the wind. They're not, you're not going to be able to, you know, that's what people need to understand. This one German guy going on that Doberman video. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Because he's so moronic that he thinks this dog is being forced to jump up with an electric collar. Yeah, yeah. yeah if that could be done, they'd all be doing it. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, God, there's the squirrel, too. All right, I got it. Yeah, there he is up there. Oh, in his nest. I'm smart. I built it up there, too. He survived the hurricane. I don't know how these things don't blow away in the hurricane. Unless these are sh squirrels that got blown here from 20 miles away. And my squirrels got blown 20 miles north. Or inland. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful day in Florida. Oh, Jamie, you need to, you know, I'm not sure you should sell the house. I'm thinking maybe, you know, could you get renters and, you know, keep the house. I'm just, I'm never up for anybody selling their house. If you said why, because that's the American dream. To buy a house. To buy a house. I feel lucky. If I lived anywhere else but here, I wouldn't be afforded this lifestyle, and my fragile little spirit would be crushed and broken. If I couldn't have my cupcakes and my puppies and my unicorns splashing in the pond. All right, I'll be right back.